Let's make a gecko spiral bracelet. The first thing we want to do is feed the leather bolo cord onto the memory wire. If you look at the end of this, you can see that it's hollow. There's a little channel down the middle. You want to be pretty patient with yourself while you do it. It is a little bit fiddly. Sometimes it takes some wiggling. Pro tip, do not put lotion on immediately before trying to do this. If you find that it gets stuck, what I like to do is feel where the, the wire is and then I sort of squeeze the leather at that point. There it goes, now it went past it. Yeah, there's just like a little like tight spot. So just giving it that little massage helps it get through. Aha! Here we go. So real time, I'm at a minute 37. So it's fiddly, but it's not that bad. We want to center this on the wire. So just keep feeding it around. Doesn't have to be perfect, but let's see what we can do. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Now I'm gonna put my end caps on and just pop that on there. Let's do the other side. Looking good, look how cute that is already. We have size 11 seed beads and some gecko beads. I mean, you can play with this and do whatever pattern you want, but what I'm gonna do is one seed bead and then five geckos. And then just repeat that. So I've almost filled up the sides. So now I'm gonna start really paying attention and making sure I don't have any gaps. I'm just gonna start scooting my beads around to fill up all the space. I'm gonna get pretty close to the end of this wire. One of the cool things about this kit is that we actually pre-cut the memory wire for you. So you don't have to have your own memory wire cutters. You just can use your round nose pliers to turn the loop at the end. So that means I want to get like three eighths of an inch from the edge, maybe like, you know, just like a little bit more than a quarter of an inch. And if my pattern doesn't like exactly finish out, that's totally fine, right? And I could, if I wanted, maybe I could just do like a few seed beads right at the end or, you know, your call. Before I turn my loops, I'm gonna just one more time go through and sort of feel for gaps. Okay, there we go. I think I'm gonna put, ooh, oh, that, that did free up some space. Maybe I can get, mm, can I do it? We'll see, we'll see if I can turn my loop. You do need a fair amount of oomph when you're turning your loop here. You can't go right at the tippy tip of the plier. The memory wire is really hard, so go back a little bit. I'm maybe like three or four millimeters from the end. I'm gonna hold that firmly and I'm gonna turn it so it's going with the curve. Don't turn it backwards, go with the curve of the wire. Oops. I didn't break it, that snap was just the plier ricocheting off of here. Like I said, it's really, strong wire. So I'm just turning it, turning it, turning it. I'm repositioning frequently to get it in here. Whoops, one of these just slid right off the end. Well, you know what? It volunteered to leave the bracelet. I'm gonna let it go. Gives me just a little bit more room to work. All right. So that's the loop at one side. Now I just flip it over and do the other side exactly the same. Okay, on my last one, I maybe made my wire a little bit too short and uh, that bead 
that volunteered to leave my my bracelet. I actually cracked it, so I'm gonna give myself a little bit more room to work. I did say three eighths, and last time I was definitely much closer to a quarter, so I think I'm gonna finish it off here. And remember, you could always have like just 11s at the end. Um, if you want to bring in a little bit more of that color, that's up to you. There we are. How cute is that to put on your gecko spiral? Just take one wrap, put it around your wrist, and then just wind the rest of these. Super fun.